are 10 things that I added over time because when you have people around you, you genuinely, or just for me, I want to see that person blossom. I want to see that person confident, feeling sexy in their body, feeling great about chasing their goals. No matter how many times we fall down, we are going to need people around us that truly believe that we can get up because sometimes we don't always feel like we can get up. And I feel like a lot of times men have so much pressure on them to be this certain hero, to live up to a certain expectation. And, you know, sometimes we have to add to those kinds of men. We have to add to the ones that work hard, they're trying, and they would do anything for their women. There are good men out there, and sometimes they do need our help. Okay, there is someone waiting for your peace because you've worked so hard on yourself to build your dream woman, dream girl, and that new aura and energy that radiates from you is going to align and attract that man. Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome back. My name is Shanice, and I create content on reinventing yourself and becoming your own dream girl before the end of the year. If that's the journey you're currently on, then I hope along this video, you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and share this video with another girly. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things I did to add, to contribute, to pour into a high value man, whether you're in a relationship or looking to mingle into a relationship. So let's get into those 10 things that I did, very simple and easy, while working on myself. Because not only are these men amazing at being protectors and providers, but also they are human and they also can use some of our feminine help. A little bit of the backstory, after moving around Canada for love, it didn't work out and I was left alone and obviously devastated. That same week, my dad had passed away and I found myself, you know, just going through a lot of emotions, but also not knowing who I was at the time. But I realized that I didn't know who I was. So I was more so taking from the man rather than contributing. I decided to take years off from dating to add to myself, to work on myself, and to really know what I want as a woman, not just while being in a relationship, but also just for myself so I'm not steered in the wrong direction or no one is leading me in the direction that I personally don't want for my life. So now I make decisions based on my dream girl and who I wanna become and my goals. And when I was going on dates and I opened up that room for dating, I had to make sure that the person that I wanted to settle with was open and open to change but also aware and self-aware of themselves and their goals and who they are and also our morals our values had to align these are 10 things that i added over time because when you have people around you you genuinely or just for me i want to see that person blossom i want to see that person confident feeling sexy in their body feeling great about chasing their goals no matter how many times we fall down we are going to need people around us that truly believe that we can get up because sometimes we don't always feel like we can get up and i feel like a lot of times men have so much pressure on them to be this certain hero to live up to a certain expectation and you know sometimes we have to add to those kinds of men we have to add to the ones that work hard they're trying and they would do anything for their women there are good men out there and sometimes they do need our help okay let's get into those 10 things that we can add back into our men number one i encourage health and fitness now when it comes to just overall moving your body and taking care of your health it's so important i lost my dad to a stroke at a young age and that right there opened up my perspective to the importance of life and how short it can become and i knew when i was dating i'm an old soul so i like to date older 
and I'm just making sure that my man is here for longevity. I want to be with him until I'm old as well. I want to provide kids so that he can run around with them as well. So it's not just about when you get to a certain age or when you get to having kids, that's when you start taking care of yourself or when you actually have the least amount of time to take care of yourself. It's about what you do right now to plant those seeds to your health and to the longevity of life of the quality of living that you're going to have you know if you can't squat if you can't bend down if you lose flexibility who are you going to be at, at 70 years old you're going to be a vegetable where there are people that are 70 years old and they're thriving it was really important for me knowing that i'm a, many years younger than my my man <laughs> it was just super important that my man took his health seriously. It was a non-negotiable for me. As a professional bodybuilder, I was not looking to date another bodybuilder. So this particular man did not have to be in bodybuilding. I just needed you to be invested in your health. You took your health seriously, not only with your physical goals of going to the gym or getting movement, but also the food that you eat, which we're gonna talk about all of that stuff, but just kind of look at the person that you're loving on. You know, when I lost my dad, I was like, wow, he's never gonna be here. And I feel like a lot of times we can prevent strokes, we can prevent heart attacks just by what we do, how we take care of our mental health. Because a lot of the things that we don't see, we see our beauty, we see our beauty on the outside, but we don't see, we don't see the pain and the traumas inside we don't see every all the destruction that we're causing on the inside we don't see it until it pops up in death and until it pops up in disabilities until it pops up into something affecting our health and then affecting our loved ones so that was that was my number one importance to what I could bring and add to a man of just not just being a personal trainer but a woman a wife a, a, a just a partner in general wanting to see you take care of your health not all the time we're going to always feel aligned with motivation to go and do our own thing like I am not waiting on my man for me to go to the gym he's not waiting on me either it's us encouraging like I make sure to vocally tell him when I'm like hey you look like you're gaining some weight and I did you know I at the end at the beginning of the year actually I was telling my man like hey you got to be careful you're gaining some weight and guess where I was um on February 14th I was in the hospital because my man was having some heart issues listen listen it's super important that Everybody, all parties take care of their health because if you really love each other, you have to want better for your health, like non-negotiable, especially if you're in the bedroom. Nobody wants to be dying out of breath, you know, like nobody wants to sound like they're out of breath. They can't walk up a few stairs. They can't take back shots. Like it just sounds terrible. <laughs> And I feel like when you do take care of yourself, it shows an amount of self-respect for yourself, knowing that you care enough for the people around you, for the longevity of your health and that you care about them. The resources we have now, guys, we have no excuses to encourage, to motivate, to add to, to just make it fun. And even if it's 10 or 15 minutes, it goes a long way, but encourage your people around you if you love them to just get active with you. Number two, I helped enhance his wardrobe. Now I'll throw in some photos so that you guys can see. I improved his wardrobe. I wanted this older man to look like fitted in his clothes because it was nothing like him wearing some baggy t-shirts and it just wasn't complimenting his shape as well. He works out, he has muscles, he looks juicy, you know, he's got a little belly, but you know, it just, the clothes that he was wearing were now just making him feel more confident. He was no longer his age. He was feeling his body, he's energetic, he's healthy, he's thriving, he's feeling good about himself. And the wardrobe help when a man just needs help is going to help a lot because some men, especially when you meet them, they're wearing a lot of plaids, they're wearing a lot of grays, darks, khakis. We need to switch that up. My favorite place to shop for my man is called Father Sons. Father Sons, I believe they're a UK brand. And everything is just so fitted, no matter like what size you are, like the buttons don't break. It's just like, it just stretches and fits to the body. For workout clothes, he loves Under Armour. So 
those two are clean brands where he looks good he can wear these clothes to golfing he can wear these clothes to the movies he can wear these clothes to a brunch or to a dinner dressed up like everything they have everything and um, it's a one-stop shop so it, it works perfectly for me just improving his style in the wardrobe like there's nothing like seeing men not looking their age men are gonna feel so much better when they no longer feel like they look like their age they feel like they look good and they're feeling their outfit and people are complimenting them oh, they deserve that too because i know like when i'm with my man i get a lot of compliments but because men deserve that too right number three is going to be grooming and hygiene when we first got together i was like it's a non-negotiable you need to go to the doctors and also to the dentist now, the dentist was a huge thing for me because if i'm locking lips with you i just need to know that your teeth are clean like your hygiene is clean so i was like let's go and update this maintenance and you know, sometimes, you know, men aren't always the first people to go to the doctors or to the dentist or make these appointments. And it's important, especially if they're really busy with work and running businesses, it's important for you to be there for them to remind them or book the appointment and go with them and make sure everything is good. So yeah, I'm in control of that for sure because I'm like, for, personally for me, I love oral hygiene. I just like hygiene in general. Also, my man, he loved when I first met him, he was really into getting his nails done. It's just, you know, some men want to go to the nail salon and then some men have never really had that experience. So if your man has never had that experience, like a date activity, that is going to be one. Take them to the nail salon, get their nails done, you know, it and pamper them every now and then. I think, you know, men think it's just a womanly thing for us to go and get our nails done. But no, they can go and get their, their manicure and pedicure and just feel like, you know, somebody took care of their hardworking hands and their hardworking feet as well. And also when it comes to haircuts, my man had taught me how to help him with his haircuts. So he gets his haircut every two weeks, but if his hair starts growing really fast, then I usually just help shape up and keep it maintained until his next hair appointment. If he has time, he'll go. But if, you know, if he doesn't have time, then I'll usually be the one to just be cleaning that hair up until he gets to his appointment. So that also will add the boost of confidence to having that man look put together rather than him looking all stubbly and, you know, unkept. And then, you know, you just don't feel your best. Number four is going to be prepared nutritious meals. There is no gender roles to who spends time cleaning or cooking. Listen, some men do need help. Some women do need help. This is going to be an area for both parties, both people, both lovers. I need you guys to prioritize overall just nutrition and just nutritious meals that are going to fuel you for longevity of energy and health. And it was really important for me, not just being a personal trainer and nutritionist, but just as a woman and a lover to my partner, I wanted to make sure that he's nourishing his body with clean sources of food. Granted, before I was in the health and fitness space, I was that girlfriend that was coming around with a lot of takeout and junk food. And I was dating a bodybuilder at the time and it was rough, okay? But I didn't understand his discipline. I didn't understand why he was doing and how he could do what he was doing until I put myself in his shoes and I became the bodybuilder. However, you don't need to be a bodybuilder to learn discipline or to meal prep or to just overall do the research that is needed for you to build a better relationship with food and understanding because we're not going to come from families and our family backgrounds of understanding or knowing the knowledge of food and the importance of fueling our body like personally for me i grew up eating what i wanted which was like pasta cereals junk food whatever i wanted right until I got into the health space and I wanted to take my own physical goals and internal goals seriously. And also I wanna look like the coach that I am. But also with my partner, it's just important for me to just take care and nourish him as I'm taking care of myself, right? He can cook his own food if he had to cook for me, 
trust me, the only thing he could possibly make for me is eggs. But when it comes to me making food, I like to cook up a lot of healthy foods. I love pasta. I love burritos. Um, I, I love protein pancakes. So honestly, we can just learn a few new recipes that are going to add to your family to your friends your girlfriends just over everyone in general will benefit to you learning a few new recipes that you can add you know what i mean there are so many recipes on pinterest and they're simple quick and easy that they still taste really good and when you're in the kitchen it does take effort but if you don't have time that's when you're going to order from a meal prep company and i also order like a few things that i don't have time to make right at the moment like burritos or quesadillas i'll usually order those for us um so that we have like So that we have like one-off meals that we didn't have to make and they still taste amazing. So that's going to help a lot. If you don't have time to cook up for the family and stuff, just order meal prep. Like if you constantly are ordering like fast food, just imagine the cholesterol is going high. Your gut is not digesting any of the food that you're eating. You're now feeling just, you're not feeling that good on your body. Everyone's constipated, gassy, you know, the sweat smells bad, like just body odor is going to smell bad you need to nourish your body and help nourish your partners as well number five is going to be about the finances now look 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 where my man wanted to go wrong was oh pleasing me by spending and i think for me what i saw was overspending and you know sometimes men are on this hunt of over or sometimes when we're newly dating we're looking on both parties to impress and i feel like sometimes we go above our budgets and our means to impress people and i had to have a chat with my man i was like look if we're here for the long run it's not even about the stuff it's all about how and and what you spend your money on and if someone genuinely loves you they will not they'll be able to either you know they won't they won't take advantage of what you can do for them and personally for me i love what i do for work so i choose that i want to work but you know what i mean i know a lot of i feel like in this day and age most people are like i want to be the well-kept woman at home da, 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 and we're not really painting a realistic picture um where honestly women i would prefer to make my own money like i don't need to make as much money as my man or maybe i make more but i love having my own money because i've been in a relationship where i traveled across canada in love sacrificed my jobs and my income and it didn't work out and i had nothing i would love just to make my own and that right there taught me the importance of having my own and making my own money and not being reliant on a man you can contribute you can add to them for me we don't do 50 50 over here however i will contribute to you in ways where it just works out for both parties and that's a conversation that everyone needs to have and make sure you're on the same page when it comes to finances like separate and together like your number six is going to come down to the shoes we're talking about shoes okay i had to show you guys now look these are clean, right? When I tell you, you do not need expensive, like men don't really care about expensive, expensive shoes. They just need a good pair of shoes. So one, uh, I forget when I gifted this, but I gifted my man with these Louboutins. Has he, um, he barely wears them, okay? Then I also gifted him with these Nike, um, Nike high tops, okay? And barely wears them. Then I gifted him with, him with these loafers and I bought two pairs of these because they were so cheap and guess which one he wears more these okay men do not need expensive shoes they just need a good pair of white shoes and a good pair of black shoes I, I really can't tell you what these are but these were Nike loafers and I bought them in the States and uh, they're so clean you can dress them up and you can dress them down and these were the least expensive shoes but you know what i mean like men don't need a ton of stuff they just need the right shoe they just need one or two pairs of shoes and they're good to go 
And yeah, it, it really doesn't matter about the cost. It's gonna come down to, you know, the use of the shoe. And you don't need to spend a ton of money. You just need to make sure you got some good shoes that can go with a good amount of outfits. And these Nike loafers, they're so clean that, yeah, I got him two pairs. The reason why, one, he's currently wearing all the time. And when he's done ruining those, he can wear these ones, right? Because oftentimes he likes to, he only wears white shoes. He likes to wear white shoes, okay? And he does not like to wear dirty shoes. However, they will get dirty really fast because obviously white shoes are really hard to maintain. If they're affordable shoes and they're cheap, I think these were like 60 or 70 bucks. If they're cheap, yeah. I can't even remember how much they were. I think they were like $100. If they're cheap, yeah, you can buy a few because honestly, men, good men, like I'm sure rappers, they need designer shoes. But as you can see, the man is barely wearing that one pair of designer shoes, okay? They don't need that much. Get them a good pair of shoes. Number seven, thoughtful gifts. Now, men do need some thoughtful gifts every now and then. My love language is acts of service, and I love gifts. And my man knows that. I had made him read the five love languages. But also, I just know that it's so nice to receive a gift. And men deserve that as well. So oftentimes I like to gift my man with little things that help to improve his wardrobe. So we're talking about wallets, a belt. I also got him a belt from uh, the same place I get his clothes, father sons. And you know, just little things that just add to him. He also really loves coffee, just little things that will just add to him, right? Like women, we want all this perfume, we want shoes, we want dinner dates, we want this, we want that. But men, you know, they're so simple, but they still do deserve to be pampered and gifted every now and then. Especially if you love your man, you love your man, man. You know that man is going to give you anything you want, right? So it's just nice to have that mindset of just being generous as well. Number eight is motivate him to maintain his self-care. Just like I preach on here about how important it is to have a self-care routine, it is important for a man as well to take care of himself and also have a self-care routine. So oftentimes when my man is mentally stressed or just overwhelmed with work, I will pour him a bath. I will light some candles and put on some soothing music. And, you know, number eight and number nine are going to tie in together. Number nine is mental relaxation. And it's just really important for us as women to just kind of look at men and read them. Oftentimes men are not that vulnerable to share how they truly feel if they're mentally going through it or if they're overwhelmed and it was important for me to read the room and just read the energy when he's overwhelmed or down or just in mental chaos or just you know what i mean like men go through it they are they have such a role in our lives to be that tough guy that protector um that protector that masculine energy that always has to be in lead you know men can lead and it can be maybe 40 60 but if a woman knows what she wants the man will follow okay if a man whether a man knows what he wants or not women usually follow and that is how i ended up in a stray relationship so i just knew i needed to know what i want and also how to control the room to you know sometimes my man's head is too flustered how do i redirect for us to be on the same path and align and you know i do pick I do play a lot of like lo-fi, soft music, just to calm him down or just reset his mental state as well. And just release a lot of that pressure as well for him to just soothe himself and pick himself up. Like a lot of men don't know how to do this. And that's when they lash out in anger or they lash out in depression or anxiety because they just feel so overwhelmed or like they have a lot on their plate. And number nine is mental relaxation. It's super important. Ease your mind. Ease your mind. Let that stress calm down and be that peace that a man needs. Okay. Like I'm talking like if that man deserves peace because some men will put you through it. And those are the men that actually don't deserve you because oftentimes we're giving, we're ready to give our everything to a man and we let them abuse and misuse us. We're still sitting there. We're still taking it. We still have hope. We still see potential, okay? 
No, there is a good man out there for all of us, for you, for me, for everybody to have a slice of the cake, their own damn cake, okay? There is somebody out there that is waiting on your love for you to give to them. There is someone waiting for your peace because you've worked so hard on yourself to build your dream woman, dream girl, and that new aura and energy that radiates from you is going to align and attract that man that is not gonna play with your time and your, your essence of who you are and who you've created. They want to align with you. They wanna grow with you. They're adaptable, they're open. Like as humans, we're going to go through things, but you have to be around people who have a similar mindset. And that's why working on yourself is so important for you to develop your mindset. So you know if this person aligns or doesn't, right? Number 10 is going to be improved posture. Now we can always help our men with their posture because especially if they're working all day, you know, we just can help them, you know, become that confident beast that they are and just help their lower back as well. Sometimes we aren't aware of the posture that it turns into a bad habit and we're just always slouching. We're working from our laptops, our computers or our phones or we're driving and in turn it's going to lead to aches and pains my back hurts my lower back hurts oh i'm feeling off right we want to make sure that our men are feeling good and flexible in in their body and also confident in their posture as well i see sometimes my man he's crunched forward because he's on his phone and I'm, or eating oh my god sometimes when he's eating and his posture is like this i'm like babe what what are you doing it's literally like hunched over and I have to remind him like they pull your upper body up bring your chest up like let me see your shoulders your chest and sometimes they need that reminder so you can add a lot of things to these men there are good men out there there are good women out there as we work on ourselves it's easier to pour into other people if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up a subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one